What happens to President-elect Donald Trump's criminal and civil cases now that he's secured a second term in the White House? Trump is scheduled to be sentenced in New York criminal court November 26 after being convicted of 34 felony counts for falsifying business records to cover up a hush money payment made to adult film star Stormy Daniels. The judge has until November 12th to decide whether to wipe away the conviction because of the Supreme Court's decision to grant presidential immunity. If the judge decides in favor of that, Trump's charges would be dismissed and he will not be sentenced. If the judge decides to keep the conviction, Trump's lawyers are expected to ask for a delay so they can appeal. If a sentencing does go forward, Trump could be ordered to serve as much as four years of prison time, but the judge could impose a lesser sentence like probation. In Georgia, Fulton County District Attorney Fawnie Willis is prosecuting Trump on racketeering charges over the 2020 election. Willis won her re-election race, allowing her to maintain her spot, leading Trump's prosecution for now. A state appeals court is weighing whether she should be removed over her romantic relationship with a former special prosecutor on the case. Since the cases in New York and Georgia are state cases, Trump cannot pardon himself next year after he's sworn into office. Trump also faces other criminal charges from special counsel Jack Smith in Washington, D.C. and Florida. In the first case, Trump is accused of conspiring to subvert the 2020 election results. In the second case, he faces charges related to mishandling classified documents after leaving office and obstructing the government's effort to retrieve them. Trump says he plans to immediately fire Smith's office, which would reportedly end the two cases against him. It's so easy. I would fire him within two seconds. Jack Smith is a scoundrel. He's a very dishonest man, in my opinion. President-elect Trump is also defending himself in multiple civil lawsuits, including cases involving his role in the January 6 attack on the U.S. Capitol in 2021. There's also two defamation cases filed by E. Jean Carroll and a civil fraud case brought by the New York Attorney General, where Trump was ordered to pay more than $450 million in damages. It's possible that all of these cases will play out, even as Trump serves his second term. A unanimous Supreme Court ruling in 1997 stemming from a civil lawsuit then-President Bill Clinton was involved in, decided sitting presidents could not use presidential immunity to avoid civil litigation. For Straight Arrow News, I'm Lauren Taylor. For more on this story and others, download the Straight Arrow News app or visit SAN.com.